Forgotten, The Frozen North, Chapter 9, Following Your Heart. Sunny stuck her head out of the window as the high noon breeze passed through the cabin as all the windows were down on this gorgeous day. Sprout was attentive at the wheel, Zip was flying overhead, and would descend to let them know if there was a hazard up ahead or if there was an easier route to take. Pip and Izzy were in the bed also enjoying the breeze. Hitch had laid out a sleeping bag, put on an eye mask, and earmuffs to attempt to get some sleep, as he had volunteered to take over for Sprout when he got too tired. If they kept this thing moving most of the time, they'd reach the Arctic in just over two days. The hills were rolling greens and yellows as they made their way north. They took dirt and stone roads where they saw them, but for the most part, they were carving their own path through the wilderness. They were closer to the coast than they were to Zephyr Heights, but right now, neither was visible. From her dad's best-conditioned map of ancient Equestria, Maritime Bay was situated below a large peninsula that had been known as the Undiscovered West, and it separated the North and South Luna Oceans. So, is it everything that you wanted it to be, Sprout? Sunny asked, after pulling her head back in and leaning back in her seat. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Sprout answered, glancing over at her before returning his attention to the road. If Hish can actually sleep back there, then we nailed the suspension! Not to mention keeping the engine noise down to a reasonable level. Sunny commented. Well, that's thanks to the soundproofing, and that was mainly Tuts' domain. I don't know how any pony can have a normal conversation out there sitting in the bed. Sprout replied. Indeed, the insulation was good enough that if any pony was talking out there, they couldn't hear them. And the engine noise probably would have drowned them out as it is. So, what do you think you're gonna do when we get back? If this project was a resounding success, you think the R&D team will want to take you on for more projects? Sunny asked him. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that they do, yeah. Sprout answered. What do you mean? Sunny asked. Sprout glanced back at the rear of the cab again, making sure Hitch was still asleep, before looking over at Sunny. <sighs> Look, this stays between you and me for now, alright? I haven't figured out how to tell him. I'm really thinking about resigning his deputy. Sprout told her, returning his attention to what was in front of the vehicle. But how come? I thought things were turning around. Sonny told him. I think he wants me to think that they are, but... <sighs> come on, Sonny. No pony who did what I did should be in a law enforcement position. But you're becoming a different pony, Sprout. Sonny answered. There shouldn't be any second chances with that kind of authority, Sonny. Sprout countered. Besides, with how much fun I had designing the Sprouticus and this one, maybe that's my calling. Well, as long as that's the real reason, Sprout. Your mom made anti-unicorn and Pegasus devices a canter logic for years, yet she still runs the factory. I'm just saying, changing careers is a significant life choice. Make sure it's the right one and not something you're just deciding on a whim. Sonny told him. I know, and I've been thinking carefully about it, but maybe I should stop thinking about it for now and just enjoy the trip, you know? I still haven't figured out how to break the ice with the rest of your friends. Uh, laser tag with Zip was fun, but I haven't really gotten to know the rest of them yet. I'm sure you'll figure out how eventually. If this thing gets us safely to and from the Crystal Empire, we're all gonna owe you, that's for sure. Uh, so when do you think we'll need to get- Sunny's question was interrupted by a shriek that was heard over the engine, back from the bed. Sprout quickly pulled back onto the throttle and applied the brakes, probably a little harder than necessary because Hitch did a one complete roll in a sleeping bag. Huh? Whoa! He said, awake almost instantly. The Scouticus Maximus lurched to a stop, and Sunny unbuckled her seatbelt. Brakes work! Sprout commented as he cut the engine. Sunny got up and went to the back of the cab, climbing up to the welded ladder rungs and pushed the top hatch open. Oh, sis, are you serious? She heard Zip ask in an incredulous tone. Is everything alright? Sunny asked, concern filling her voice. Oh, hope that's directed at any pony except Pip, because according to her, the world is ending. Zip said, rolling her eyes. <laughs> like this isn't an emergency! Pip countered as she was frantically holding her phone skyward in every single direction. What is going on up here? Hitch asked, eye mask pushed up onto his forehead. Pip exclaimed, shoving her phone towards his eyes, screen facing him. No! Signal! No! Signal! Pip, you need to chill! Zip told her younger sister. I already told Mom that it was almost certain that we would drop out of the service zones once we got far enough north. That's what the emergency transponders are for. Mom? You think I'm worried about Mom? What about my fans? They're going to think something happened to me! Well, you'll just have to film all of this content and release it in pieces when you get back! 
And if your fans get really worried, I'm sure Mom can do a video explaining where you went. Zip argued. Pip shrieked again. Sunny's attention was pulled back inside by Sprout, having heard the entire tirade and unable to hold in any longer, burst out into laughter as he unbuckled himself from the driver's seat. I think now would be a good time to refuel while you all give Pip some oxygen. The stallion commented, guffawing as he opened the left door and climbed out. That was a pretty short one, but then again he got some sibling arguing and what's not to laugh about that? Now let's get on to our lovable donators. Top donators are 630, J10 Man, Darkseid, Only One Thing, and Saru Orion. Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon Heart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu X, or Rather and Mordred, Omicron Library, Will Chris, Twinkie, Hudzaza, Riot Soul, Iron Sky, Badass Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, and many more awesome people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.